Prince Harry and Meghan Marco dropped her HRH title on daughter Lilibet Diana's birth certificate, but the Duke of Sussex kept his. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor's birth certificate has been revealed three weeks after she was born in Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, and there are some noticeable differences between hers and her brother Archie's. The legal document, which has been uncovered by US news site TMZ, shows that Meghan Marco has dropped her royal title in the name and surname box. Today, TMZ obtained a copy of the birth certificate, and it shows that the Duchess of Sussex simply used her maiden name Rachel Meghan Marco, instead of her royal title. This marks a change from her name on Archie's birth certificate, which Cosmopolitan UK notes as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex. Meanwhile, Prince Harry did use his HRH title on the birth certificate of his newly born daughter Lilibet Diana. Harry listed his first and last name on Lily's birth certificate as the Duke of Sussex, His Royal Highness, which is also a change from what he used for Archie's certificate, ahem, His Royal Highness Henry Charles Albert David Duke of Sussex. Back to January 2020. Following the couple's announcement that they were stepping back as senior members of the British royal family, Buckingham Palace announced in a statement they would no longer use the HRH title. Under the agreement dubbed Megxit they were allowed to continue being known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex but were stripped of many other patronages and honorary military titles. A statement released by Buckingham Palace on behalf of the Sussexes at the time said, the Sussexes will not use their HRH titles as they are no longer working members of the royal family. It is important to note that Prince Harry is still recognized as a prince and a direct grandson of the Queen, and he did not renounce, nor was he stripped of the title, but he has agreed simply not to use it. The term working members refers to those carrying out royal duties, such as Prince William, Kate Middleton, and Prince Charles. In addition to retaining the title of Prince, Harry also will still be known as the Duke of Sussex, and Meghan Markle will be called the Duchess of Sussex. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex clarified to Insider that, the title His Royal Highness is still legally part of Harry's name, which is why he was required to put it in the birth certificate. It's his legal name. The document required his legal name, the spokesperson told the outlet adding that the document also required Meghan's maiden name. Duchess Meghan previously used her royal title on her son Archie's birth certificate. He was born on the 6th of May, 2019, when the Duke and Duchess were still full-time senior royals. But, unlike UK, Archie's birth certificates, this one required Meghan's maiden name and Harry's legal name, hence the difference. Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on the 6th of June 2021 in Santa Barbara, California. Meanwhile, the reveal of Lilibet's birth certificate threatens to spark a fresh row, much like the reveal of Archie's certificate following his birth in May 2019. The couple were left furious when reports suggested Meghan had removed her Christian names from Archie's birth certificate meaning she was listed as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex. Though Meghan had to use her maiden name on Lily's birth certificate, she is still using the Duchess of Sussex title in other areas of her life. Her new children's book, The Bench, lists the author as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. The Archival website also addresses Meghan as the Duchess of Sussex. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departures from royal duties began in 2020 over what they described as the British media's intrusions and racist attitudes towards the former Suits star. Now that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex live in Santa Barbara, California, much of their life is less formal than it was previously. The pair live in a house, not a castle, and tend to their chicken coop rather than attend royal events. This lifestyle shift also sometimes requires a modification in their names, as seen on their new daughter Lilibet's birth certificate. Both parents are taking long periods of leave to care for the baby, although Harry is due back in the UK today to attend an unveiling of a statue of his late mother Princess Diana. It comes as the Duke and Duchess were demoted on the official royal family website, 
now listed below Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, as well as the Princess Royal and the Duke of York, after leaving their senior roles. Last year, Harry agreed to retain his HRH title, but never use it when he quit royal life to start a portfolio career in the US. The reveal of the birth certificate comes after it was announced that Prince Harry is set to have his HRH title expunged from notices at a new royal fashion exhibition featuring his mother Princess Diana's wedding dress. He was recently listed as HRH in an exhibit at the current Princess Diana exhibition at Kensington Palace but the Royal Collection Trust has now removed the reference, saying it was an administrative error. When the exhibition first opened, a placard describing the exhibit read, lent by HRH the Duke of Cambridge and HRH the Duke of Sussex. It was soon changed to lent by HRH the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex. The Royal Collection Trust explained the error in a statement, saying, due to an administrative error, for which the Royal Collection Trust was responsible, the labels were incorrect and will be updated. Harry and Meghan quit royal life last year and moved to an £11 million mansion in Montecito, California to become financially independent. Since then, they have signed deals with Netflix and Spotify reportedly worth hundreds of millions of pounds, and are expecting a baby daughter this week. In their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, the pair made extraordinary allegations of racism against the firm after Meghan claimed the senior royal, who has not been named asked what color their son Archie's skin would be. Harry and Meghan also criticized Donald Trump during the US presidential election and lent moral support to the Black Lives Matter movement last year. Today, the Duke of Sussex returned to England from his new home in California. Prince Harry set to attend the unveiling of a statue honoring his late mother, Princess Diana, at Kensington Palace on the 1st of July, on what would have been her 60th birthday. Prince Harry, 36, was pictured being chaffied in a van from London Heathrow Airport on Friday afternoon, according to the Daily Mirror. He was pictured by mail online arriving at Los Angeles Lax Airport on Thursday evening ahead of his flight to London. Harry will be staying with his cousin Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, and their baby boy, August, at the Sussex's UK residence, Frogmore Cottage while Meghan Marcos stayed in California with the couple's two young children. Two-year-old son Archie Harrison, and their daughter Lilibet Diana, who was born on the 4th of June. This would not be the first time that the Duke has stayed with Princess Eugenie. Prince Harry has returned to the UK once since relocating to the US in March 2021, for the April funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip. Following the service at Street, George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, Harry was spotted chatting with his older brother, Prince William. Plans for the Princess Diana statue were first announced in February 2017, the year of many commemorations of Diana's life, as it marked 20 years since she died in a car crash in Paris. On Friday, Kensington Palace released details about the highly anticipated royal event. A statement revealed that Prince Harry and Prince William will be attending the events alongside close family of Diana, Princess of Wales, members of the Statue Committee, the sculptor Ian Rank Broadley, and garden designer Pitt Morrison. Neither Kate Middleton and Meghan were mentioned in the statement which suggests that they will not be attending the unveiling. The event has been drastically scaled back from its original 100 plus guest list due to COVID restrictions. Go. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour, and don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.